So guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the newly released 81 rated inform striker Richarlison. Now before we get into this video, drop a like on it. Drop a like on this video if you want to see another player review come out tonight. Comment below which player you'd like to see the video on as well. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's get in to this player review. Richarlison, originally in FIFA, is a left winger and his non-inform is actually decent for a non-rare. Anyway, let's take a closer look at this guy. He's got high high work rates so you expect this player to be pretty active in matches. He's got a 5 star weak foot which looks awesome and he's also got 4 star skills which is always nice to have on an attacker. In game stats wise there's a couple of decent stats to take note of. He's got an 88 rating for his in game dribbling. His finishing of 81 also isn't that bad when you consider originally in FIFA he's a winger. And just as a whole, his physical stats, that whole physical section, looks pretty solid. Okay, now let's move on into the in-game clips and let's talk about how this guy performed in actual matches. Early on, I noticed that Richarlison in FIFA is one of those players who just battles for the ball no matter what. He's one of them players who, when they lose the ball, are somehow able to win it back. He'll get knocked off the ball and then react really quickly and retain possession. And I think this is down to him having decent stats for his balance, strength and Aggression. Aggression is an underrated stat in FIFA. If you know how it works, you'll know why it's a good stat to have on attackers. Because, um, you know, attackers with high aggression, they just seem to battle for the ball more. This guy made some great runs for me. I've got no complaints about his positioning. I thought that was one of the best things about him. The guy's high, high work rates definitely don't affect him in a negative way, in my opinion. When in possession of the ball, Richarlison's solid when sprinting with the ball. In open space, this guy really is fun to use. With him having decent physical stats, he isn't too easy to uh, dispossess of the ball either, but it is worth noting that he does occasionally take a heavy touch, which can be a bit of a problem. When it came to shooting, I have to say I was a bit disappointed with this guy. Um, he was a post magnet. He just kept hitting the post for me and you'll see that in the clips in the background. I think his composure hurts his shooting because when under pressure, he seems to panic shoot. And before you guys start typing in the comments, no Kieran, that's just you making an error. Wrong. Look at some of the clips. I get perfect timing on some of these timed finishes and they still hit the post or miss the target. So yeah, Richarlison is definitely able to score goals, but he isn't a reliable goal scorer, he just isn't consistent enough with his shooting. Passing wise though, I thought he was alright. With him being a winger originally in FIFA, I did expect decent passing from him. I thought his short passing was good enough and his crossing was decent and that 5 star weak foot definitely helps with this guy's distribution. Although Richarlison isn't the most clinical goal scorer with his feet, he's actually pretty decent with his head. The guy stands at 5 foot 11, he's got 81 jumping and he does win a decent amount of aerial battles and he certainly can be an aerial threat, especially if the player marking Richarlison is a fullback. This guy is going to win headers over them for fun. Overall, I will say this card was a fun one to use, but would I use this card in foot champs? No, I definitely wouldn't. I liked how much this guy would fight for the ball and I thought his positioning and worker it was solid. He was regularly involved in attacks and that is something that really pleased me. But his shooting just isn't good enough for foot champions in my opinion. He's just not clinical enough in front of goal. So do I advise picking this guy up? What's his current price? He's currently going for around 65k. I'd say wait until he drops in price because with him being quite low rated he is going to be packed a lot and I imagine that a lot of you might see him in your player picks tomorrow anyway. So guys, those are my thoughts on the Informer Charleston Striker card. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like on it. If you've tried this guy, let me know how he performed for you in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.